if you go to JBR or Dubai Marina, you can't miss the sight of rail tracks being laid out as the RTA constructs the city's first ever tram system. The roadworks and diversions have proven challenging for the area's commuters and for residents for years. But the deadline has emerged. Authorities say they expect the Asafoh tram project should be ready to ride by November of next year. And Priyanka Dutt spoke to the director of rail planning at the RTA to find out how the tram system has been designed to complement the Dubai Metro and help ease the heavy traffic coming in and out to the marina and JBR. The final vision is that uh, Al Sufuh area, as you see, the JBR area, Al Sufuh, and the marina is still not fully occupied by uh, occupants of the buildings. Uh, once it will be fully occupied, if you don't provide a system like the tramway to serve these areas, there will be totally blockage uh, in the roads with the, with the cars. At the time being, you see that uh, a lot of people are, uh, it's a destination. A lot of people going, coming from different Emirates or tourists, they start going to uh, JBR area and uh, congestion is increasing day by day. So it's interesting you say that is the tram project catering especially to tourists or also to the residents of these areas? Tram is not meant to be done for tourism purposely. The tram is being planned and designed to be used by all the residents, tourism, and whoever wants to reach to destinations along the line. It is to solve a problem in traffic. If you are a metro user, you don't need to use your car to come to JBR area. You can use the metro green line or red line from which station, wherever you want to ride the metro, then you will change in one of the two stations, uh, the marina or Jumeirah Lake Tower, uh, you will be then in the tram station. Then you can go along the tram line and uh, to your destination. Now the tram as a transport system is getting obsolete in many parts of the world. Why has Dubai decided to construct and develop a tram project now? Yes, they see the tram is the is, uh, second level of transportation. We have the main backbone for, for public transport is the metro. And all other modes of transport should serve metro stations like buses, uh, marine transport, uh, taxis. Uh, the, the tram is similar level of the buses. So that's why we are integrating the tram with the metro in certain stations. We have in uh, Jumeirah Lake Tower Station and uh, in Marina Station. Uh, these are linked directly. Uh, the two stations, the tram and the metro linked together, people can transfer from the metro red line to the tram. Based on your studies, what are the ridership numbers you're looking at when you start operations next November? Ridership number is about 3,250 passengers per, per, per direction.